And how's it going, guys? Joshua Lafemi here, live from LA, and welcome to Creative Week with Nick Koo here on the Joshua Lafemi channel. Creative Week is a time when we step in every day for an entire week with one of my good friends that's usually way more talented than myself and where we get to discuss and dive into some incredibly awesome topics. So who is my bro Nick Koo and what can you expect out of this week? I've known Nick's work for close to 10 years. He's one of the most talented VFX artists that I know, and he currently lives in Sydney, Australia. He's worked with so many big brands and artists, and this week he is committed to one VFX tutorial every single day, which is crazy. Today, Nick's gonna be showing you a really cool way to do a screen replacement, whether this be on a cell phone, a computer, or even a TV. But first, of course, we're gonna talk about Envato Elements. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor, and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage, like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning, they also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. So I've got two tickets, one for me and one for you, and we're gonna take a flight way down to Sydney, Australia. Nick, the floor is yours. All right, guys, it's the tutorial you've all been waiting for, how to track anything into a screen. Now, this is a big boy tutorial. We're not messing around today. We're gonna to use a big boy plugin called Mocha and it's absolute magic. So first up, we'll take our footage into After Effects and make a new comp. Make sure the comp size and frame rate are exactly the same as the footage. If not, the track won't work properly. Super important. So important, I'm gonna mention it again. Make the comp the exact same size and frame rate of the footage. Next, we're gonna create a solid and pre-comp it and call it Screen Replace Pre-Comp 1. All right, we need to add the Mocha effect to the footage. So let's go to Effects, Boris Effects Mocha, and then Mocha AE. Once you're there, you're gonna see the big Mocha logo. I hope you got your big girl or boy pants on because we're gonna jump into Mocha. Click on the logo. Ba-boom, we're in Mocha. Here we're gonna select this arrow with the X on it and draw a box in this corner of the phone. Now we're gonna go back and select the same tool but look for this plus sign next to the original tool. Now when you draw the boxes around the other corners, Mocha knows they are all related to each other. Congratulations, we've set up the tracking points for the track. Next, we need to turn on the perspective setting here to make sure it tracks accurately since the phone does twist a little. Now let's get Mocha to start tracking. So far so good. Let's click on the planar surface tool, which brings up this small blue box. We're going to reposition the corners of the box to fit just outside the bounds of the screen. The corners we define by this blue box will determine where our corner pin data is going to go. Let's check to make sure the track is sticking to the phone. Great! Let's save it and head back to After Effects. Now let's go to the Mocha effect on the footage and select Create Tracking Data. Select Layer 1 and then click OK. Now let's go down to the export option and select corner pin support motion blur. We'll select our screen replace pre-comp 1 to apply the export layer to and then we'll press export. Let's play it back. Looks good but it needs to go behind the screen obviously. We'll add key light to the footage and key out the green. Then we'll put our screen replace pre-comp below the original footage. Now we need to create the actual iPhone screen and this is only specific to the iPhone 11. It probably will be different for your particular phone. Let's create a new comp and make the size 828 by 1792. Now we can start adding elements to it and design it how we want. Now let's bring our newly created iPhone screen and bring it into our screen replace pre-comp. Now let's look at it back in our main comp. Hmm, looks bad, huh? Okay, let's fix that. We'll right click on the iPhone comp and select transform and then select fit to comp. Looks bad, huh? But wait, let's go back to our main comp. Ah, much better. And that's pretty much it. Once you've set up the comp and you want to add new stuff to it, it's just a matter of just replacing the current iPhone screen with a new one. And what's great is you can use this technique to pretty much replace screens anywhere or even add them in. Thanks for watching guys. Would love to see what you guys come up with using this technique. Hit Josh or me up in the comments and we'll see you next time. Shout out to Nick for such an incredible tutorial. 
please make sure to check out all the videos in this week's creative series down in the description below. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. I actually have two additional videos that you've got to watch. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.